Now try to look at how we can be able to access patient appearance during neurological examination. Accessing patient appearance during neurological examination. Now, in accessing patient appearance, it's simply you are trying to look at the overall, how does the patient look? Do they look dull or do they actually look vibrant, okay, during neurological examination, okay? So we are saying some neurological disorders, they result in postures that are characteristics as, okay, as to be diagnosed at a glance. So that's where you look at the different types of gates abnormality so in gait abnormalities you have different gates all right different different gates like waddling gates shuffling gates stepage gates so the way the patient is posing the way they walk should actually tell you about the disease condition that they have okay so for example the claw hand of an ulnar nerve lesion the drop wrist following radial nerve palsy or the waiter's tip following the deformity of the arm in brachial plexus injury. All of this will give you a hint of what the patient has. Okay? So usually, however, it is when the patient moves that we can best appreciate the type and extent of the motor disorder. All right? So a part of trying to do physical examination in neurology is you ask the patient to walk around. Okay? So the dangling arm following a brachial plexus injury the flare link of poliomyelitis, the symmetrical paralysis of the spinal cord lesions, the characteristic foot drop gait following sciatic or perineal nerve damage, the jerky or spastic movement of cerebral palsy. All of this, okay? So on that note, you have to know the different types of what? Gait abnormalities that we have. And this will always help you to diagnose conditions. All right. So concentrating on the affected parts, we look for trophic changes that signify loss of sensibility. So you're trying to see if the skin is smooth, if there's an hairless skin, all right? So if the hairless skin is stretched too tight, if there's atrophy of the fingertips and the nails, if there's scars, scars will tell you that there's probably some accidental bones. If there's ulcers that refuse to heal, cannot be tell you that probably the patient has diabetes. I don't know if you understand. Muscle wasting is important to look out for and localized. If it is, sorry, if it is localized or asymmetrical, it may also suggest what dysfunction of a specific motor nerve. Okay. So I think that is different things you have to look out for when you are what? Accessing the appearance of a patient during neurological or physical examination.